What we have here is the little shoe lock and what we're going to do today is open the lock and we'll walk you through the procedures for opening the lock. One of the first things you do is, uh, as a lock tender, you come in and you make sure everything's safe as far as no debris in the way and that there's nothing that's going to get tangled up. One of the first uh, steps in filling the lock is to open the valves. The lock tender will open the valves slowly, each one of them a little bit at a time, and the pressure will be released and water will come through the valves and into the lock chamber. This is essentially the sill of the lock. So underneath the sill is where the water comes out from the valves that are being opened by the lock tender. Once the valves are open, the water comes through underneath the sill and the water will, will rise in the lock chamber. And if you look across the lock, you can see where the existing water line is, the water level. When the water reaches that level, the pressure on the doors will be released. The doors can be opened by the lock tender. You start with an empty lock and you fill it up. You've got four or five minutes in order for that water tension to be released off the door. And the lock tender will use the tripod and open, uh, open the locks by you know, walking around in a circle manually using the gears to open these huge lock doors. Typically it takes 10 times around the turnstile to open up one of the four doors on the lock. But I think the whole procedure from start to finish takes between 12 to 15 minutes. Each lock is a little bit different. Some locks are a little bit more uh, difficult than others, just like the valves and some locks are a little bit more stiff or some might be easier to operate than others. So there's, they all have their own little nuances and kind of tricks of the trade in order to make it happen.